But like, I always hear horror stories about Faye Dunaway and I just want to know if any of it's true or did you ever see that? Or let's just say, was she just intense or something you could remember? Or maybe everything was great. You know, I did not have many scenes with her. So for me, um, what I the thing I remember was now that I'm going to be 60 years old this year. Wow. You look great. And so she was probably, thank you. She you was probably only 45 maybe. Uh, I don't know. We can look it up. But how concerned she was with the lighting and the perfectionism of an aging woman and being really struck by that more than anything else, more than is she difficult or that was the thing, like really tampering with the lights, making sure it was, um, you know, being self-protective, being out. I never have had that. Like I've been on TV shows forever and there are actresses, they just are making, I. it's sort of like, I hope, so <laughs> I, I hope you guys have it. In other words, you're saying, <laughs> they at the take end of the care day, of themselves. trust the DP. Trust but everybody. in a way, I've seen things I've been in. My one mm -hmm. of my closest friends, Helen Hunt. We have a very funny story. Helen I, Hunt's one of your closest friends. We she I introduced me Hunt. to my husband. What? Yeah, I love that Helen many. Hunt. <laughs> Do you know what I always think about when I think of Helen Hunt? Her amazing moment in Castaway when she hears that he's alive and she collapses in the kitchen. Oh, that just dropped me. That she's reaction. such an incredible. Anyway, actress. I love her. Go ahead. I was doing a series in Austin and we're hiking when I got back and I was like, I I look so awful. Like I saw it, I was like, oh hell, Bill, I just look so terrible. I mean, I saw the thing, I just can't believe how, and she go, and I'm, I'm like, why do I look so awful? She said, because we're dying. And I was like, well, if we're dying, I guess I look pretty fantastic. And it really popped it for me. From that moment on, I was like, yeah, we're aging, I'm dying, it looks like that. I'm I'm done. Oh my God! Right? That is exceptional advice. Right? <laughs> Think about it. But that makes a lot of sense. You talk about like getting older, and we all do. Like I, I even look to some degree. Um, you know, I don't look at him and say, "Hey, how's?" I just kind of just let it, everything go, and then it is what it is. Yeah. But I definitely look at myself sometimes, and I'm just like, wow. Wow, you just you're just not the kid you sometimes feel like or you remember and you're looking yeah. more and more like an older person and this is just the way it goes. This yeah. is again, this is this is life. It can't we can't stop it's it. It's Irv, we need Irv, Irv. in the room. <laughs> um, but you know, I but I could sort of understand too. It's much harder for a woman. It's much harder they though. Like your whole life when you especially when you're an actress, not especially when you're an actress, but when you're an actress, it's like you know, um Look, there's I, a premium on how you look there's a premium on pretty there's a premium on you know they're just we just value that so much in mm -hmm. our culture and we don't have as many avenues for the elder women or aging or you know but they're you know it's all right i go through this with like i'm like i see all these guys my age and they're all ripped a lot of them doing probably, you know, testosterone, HGH, which is fine. Do whatever you want to do. I don't wow. give a shit. You know, I might even start it. But uh, <laughs> the point is, I look at him and I'm like, oh, my gosh. Man, do I need to look like that? I'm like, why do you need to look like that? Are you doing a superhero movie? Yeah. What do you need to do? <laughs> I don't want to work out that much. I don't want to hurt my body. I've already had surgeries. I don't feel like doing it. Don't you, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't want to do this shit. I'll play some sports. I'll have some fun. I'll try to be as healthy as I can. But, like, I don't want to, like constantly just be ripped and shredded and drinking these beans and leaves and and it just it's so daunting and it's so it's so hard to do that and the overall um result could be fascinating and you're but then you have to maintain it yes. it's like shouldn't the part of me is like shouldn't a 50 year old kind of look like a 50 year old like they used to when you used to watch movies like George C. Scott's 58. He looks like he's 80. What the yeah. fuck happened to him? <laughs> it's true. We've had a weird, <laughs> you know, difference. So everybody's trying to be looking as young as they can. And well, cigarettes and alcohol will do that. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true.